All right, guys, so full disclosure, we had all sorts of issues with this episode. There's parts of it where the video didn't come through. There's parts where people's cameras were freezing. Literally every, every, every program that we used to record just decided to give us trouble all night. So I do want to apologize, but hopefully you still enjoy the video overall. But uh, I'm going to let you get right to it. Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News' Hasbro PulseCon Recap Show. My name is Michael and with me this week I have a gaggle of co-hosts. First up we have the reigning, defending, missed by all of our fans, with me as per usual, Jamar underscore games. How have you been, Jamar? I've been pretty great. Some pretty exciting things have happened. Um, I totally, side note, outside of the exciting things, I was expecting you to say the, like, you know, rotating co-host or something like that like you're a second class co-host or something but i appreciate the usual co-host title i'll take it i mean last time i demoed you to usual and you threw a fit so i didn't want to <laughs> didn't want to start anything up again i'll let it uh, slide <laughs> well I'm, I'm glad that you can you can forgive me um <laughs> which actually give me one second because i made a boo-boo let me just move you over here if you're uh -oh. watching this, you're seeing some some Hollywood Squares nonsense going on. I had uh, Nate, Nate and Wes were flip flopped, but they're fine now. <laughs> and you got to watch it all live. That's um, awkward. Because Nate but, is technically the only Wes Smith. <laughs> he was. But <laughs> no longer is he. Uh, speaking of which, so um, next up, right below me you, on your screen, you will see the ho one of the hosts of the Figuratively Speaking podcast and my personal friend, Nate. How are you this week? Nate? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm doing real good. Glad to be done with all the Hasbro craziness and now get to dive into it. Oh, yeah. And, 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 you know, recover a little bit from the financial loans you have to take out to buy all those pruners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And then last but not least, across from Nate, we have the man who wants to steal Jamar's job, the founder of Media Junkie, the one, the only Wes Smith. How are you doing this week, Wes? I never said I want to steal Jamar's job. <laughs> I would never want to like do extra work for myself, but I do enjoy I mean, you Jamar think here. Jamar does work for the show? It's oh, like, well, I mean, he, he's he's on the show every week. I per, I like looking at the pictures because I'm not on the internet enough to look at toy pictures. So sitting here, I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. So you don't want you just want to be able to sit there. You just want me to send you the file every week. You don't actually want to be on camera and, and do anything or watch the show. I would like. Yeah, to I mean, you both. could you could just watch the show, and then you get talking and pictures. What's better than that? That's TV. Guys, I'm like super busy. So, you know. <laughs> So busy that he can chop out three hours to do a show with us tonight. Um, <laughs> I got to do like four hours on video games a night. So <laughs> that's going to suck. Uh, but the way the show works, if you're new to it, we break down the news, which this week is going to be 100% just Hasbro PulseCon. We are going to kind of just skim through the bigger stuff. So if you wanted like a deep dive, go somewhere else. Sorry, I, we ain't got that kind of time on our hands. Um, and then if we have time, we'll do weekly purchases and show you what we've bought. But let's jump right into it. So we're going to start off with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. We got all sorts of fun news and some old figures as well announced over the weekend. We've got Wave 7, which will include the Dino Thunder Red Ranger, Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, and Mighty Morphin Z Putty, which already have gone up for pre-order on various sites like Amazon and Entertainment Earth. However, apparently Target will have exclusive Spectrum series, which will feature holographic packaging for these. And I couldn't find pictures of what the difference is, if there's even if they're even out there. Um, and then I also found pictures of a repack for the White Ranger, which I haven't seen for pre-order anywhere. Like everywhere that has Wave 7 only has those three. So I'm not sure what's going on with those. Uh, they also did announce the new set of the Versus 2 packs, which will consist of the In Space Red Ranger versus Estrema. And SPD B Squad versus A Squad Blue Ranger. Man, that sounds like some classist bullshit. Um, then we got the... Here is it. Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Metallic Armor Up figure of the Pink Ranger, which apparently they're working on proving the unmasked heads because everyone's been complaining about how mediocre they are. And they're going to start that process with this one, which is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. And then the last big piece of news for the Lightning Collection is a line of deluxe figures called Monsters. 
It has King Sphinx and Pumpkin Wrapper, which will both be over seven inches tall. But that's not all from Power Rangers. We are getting retro head flippy, like old school 90s figures. And I'm pretty sure these were already released at one point. But hey, nostalgia pays the bills, I guess. Uh, and then we're also getting the Power Rangers Zeo Megazord with five battle helmets and belt buckle and wings. Uh, I, now, Jamar, I know you recently dived into the Power Rangers. So let's start with you. Are you what, what are you excited about out of all this? Whoa. I mean, bless your heart. You sent me the link for the Green Ranger. So I did I get did. that pre-order. Um, and I just recently purchased the White Ranger. So uh, shout out to Wes for finding that for me as well at a GameStop. But now uh -oh. um, oh, I gave him a shout out and Wes left. Jeez. Wes just said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, Should so I this go is, on? This is, I mean, um, the show must. I, 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 well, oh, I have wait. to rearrange all of our faces because oh, now we're, it's that's all true. sorts all over the place. So <laughs> I, I guess we're going to pause for a moment. <laughs> Damn it, Wes. Oh, there he's coming back, maybe. But now I've got, uh, now I've got to fix it because he rearranged <laughs> things and now his face is Craig. Yep. Okay. That's, that's not my fault. That was, that was Discord's fault. <laughs> yeah. Blame Discord. <laughs> it was Discord's oh, oh. fault. So Discord just was like, Good, good day, sir. Yeah, I like gave you a shout out, and then you're just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, we just assumed you just didn't like being uh, called out for helping your friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was like updated. Mm. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, gotta love when that happens. Um, so I guess we'll pick up where we left off. So, Jamar, you got the White <laughs> Ranger from Wes. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. else? laughs> I have like pretty much all the ones in the line now, and I just need to get Yellow Ranger and have Black Ranger coming. Um, so like this is kind of cool to see the metallic, but it almost kind of makes me wish I would have waited. But then again, the only reason I would have waited is for the heads because they do look pretty bad. But I only have them in the helmet anyway, so that's kind of my thought on it. Is like yeah. who gives a shit about the unmasked head? Yeah, <laughs> just gonna it realistically <laughs> just leave them in the box anyways. But yeah, I'm 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 excited that I'm getting what I want. Um, I wish I would have got the better skulls, but it's okay. But yeah, I, I kind of feel like I need to get one of these monsters. I don't know if Kristen can hear me, but the only problem is the scale, which we talk about all the time on the show, is seven is just too too high. Like you're too big. What do you mean it's too big? Those are the size of the Ninja Turtles from NECA. Yeah, but that's not the same scale as the Rangers, am I right? But the big are monsters they... are bigger than the Rangers. Yeah, but if I had a Zoid, then but are, are you okay? Uh, I need wait, you to back you up on this one. Wait, because... are you saying? Wait, what's the scale on these? Because I, I guess I'm so they're in scale off. with the Rangers. Oh, I'm the show. The Rangers the are not Zords. as tall as the monsters. I thought it was in scale with the Zords. No, the Zords gonna oh. be like a, a big boy. It's gonna be like an actual like Zord, from my understanding. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I have to have at least one enemy then. So <laughs> I didn't get the two pack with the Green Ranger in the putty phase or whatever. So maybe that's a possibility. But yeah, you need the pumpkin wrapper, man. That's, that's what sweet. I see. Yeah, I guess that's true. That is true. I just kind of naturally assumed that that was going to be the Zord side just because, you know, that's how, you know, shit works. But yeah, I'm thoroughly excited for all of this. I don't need anything else outside of Mighty Morphin. So I'm going to keep my bubble small with these, but maybe an enemy would be cool. But that's that's it. Also, the Transformer ones is what I was really trying to like look for just because that was the nostalgia hit right there. But they look kind of weird. They're like really thick. So they, they, they look I, they look even worse than they did in the 90s, which is so hard to believe. they're just a little too thick. They just it just it's kind of off putting. So I don't know. I don't know what you guys feel about that. Or they're not. definitely thicker. That's for sure. <laughs> With two C's. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Well, I, I recently saw some in a store. Uh, I think it was Toys Time Forgot. And I mean, they didn't even look that thick. <laughs> Or was these because uh, these are re-released though, right? Because these look definitely. I mean, they might be reworked because I assume they're not. They don't child. still have the exact this molds look... from. They're yeah, totally this... different sculpts. Yeah, this looks like completely like. I, I mean, all of the toys are for children, but this doesn't look more like collectible. This looks strictly like a child toy because of like how large you know everything is. Maybe just yeah, it's maybe... it's because these are Hasbro and the original molds were through Bandai. Makes sense. That's what it is. So yeah, Damn these you ones... changing of the the companies. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, those I'm 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 kind of excited to see, but I'm also kind of like I'm good on those. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like if you're gonna get the the re-releases, I'd just go. Cause I'm pretty sure didn't Nate didn't the Bandai make the last set of re-releases in like the weird like yeah. triangle packaging? Yep. Mm, yeah, they I did. feel like those ones look way cooler, so I'd just get those. Yeah, that's my take on it. I can't tell if Nate froze or if he had something to say. No. Uh, <laughs> come on, host. Do your host. No, I. Uh, <laughs> I'm a massive fan of this line. Uh, uh, and the weird thing about it is, is I'm I I don't. I didn't watch Power Rangers as a kid. Actually, I was because I'm older than all of you, so I was like 15 when that started. So I was yeah. like, I watched it like one or two times, and I was like, I'm good. Like this is this is fine. <laughs> about you mean you didn't get your driver's license and instantly just be like, my car is a goddamn Megazord? <laughs> no, no. I, maybe I wish I did, but the weird thing is, is in between there somewhere, I got into the whole Japanese superhero, and then it led me mm. to Sentai which is what the show is based on. And I love that show. And I love, I've only, I mean, I can't say only, I've seen like three or four of them now of the different ones. Cause each one of them is different. They don't tie into it. Like the first couple seasons of power Rangers did. Um, so they're all separate, but that's why that's what kills me is I buy anything that has a Sentai counterpart or is a Sentai version. So those, those extra heads, I pitch them. I don't, I don't need them kids. They do nothing for me. <laughs> so but the the only thing i have to like be careful of is i try not to buy ones that weren't like in sentai like the black ranger with the dragon armor that didn't happen in sentai that was just a power ranger thing um and like lord zed that was strictly uh, an american made thing so i try to avoid those when i can but that being said these new ones look really good the new lightning collections and i'm so excited they're doing monsters because that was one of the cool things about sentai is just all the super weird bizarre japanese things that they come up with and for some reason it worked on american tv too if, if they made like an eyeball monster one I'd be yes all about it. yep that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah. yeah oh and i to uh go back the white ranger is part of that target exclusive run so it's oh he's the on newest... the Metallica bs stuff yeah, but it's it's just that new wave. So Green Ranger, the Z Putty, and the Dino Charge, and then the White Ranger from Series One in these new packages. Just that's the only difference. So no, the head sculpt looks like the exact same from the photo. So I'm assuming that's the, literally just the packaging. Is like yep. Ah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Um, which uh, Nate, since obviously you're a big fan of this line, do you know? Because I I know that the Green Ranger and the Putty are obviously repacks from the two pack they did. Did that two pack slightly? Did... Did that head There's... have the bandana on it? No, it was the okay. uh, White Ranger head repackaged, which, uh... from what I understand, was inaccurate. Um, but actually, that Green Ranger... It's weird that I know this much about Power Rangers, though. Uh, <laughs> that Green Ranger was... I think it was called, like, Dragon Spirit, because it was in an episode, a later season of Power Rangers, like, I mean, later, later. Um, he, the Green Ranger appeared as a vision and his helmet was different. So that's the figure we got. So this new figure that's coming out is actually the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Green Ranger okay. helmet. So okay. Jamar, you're good not getting that that two-pack, although you can get putties at uh, Hasbro Pulse. You can get two-packs for 30 bucks. Uh, okay, that's not terrible. Because, yeah, the Z-Putty has the like a t almost like a tank top looking thing with the Z on it. They're Lord Zed's putties so they were they were from the american footage uh i mean that's perfect for jamar he, he yeah that works only watch the american yeah. version no that's <laughs> he, did you did you get the game stop exclusive uh rita and lord zed two pack no i only i literally only have like the rangers okay right now. well i lie I, I got alpha and zordon the two pack that one yeah but that was at walmart yeah yeah i didn't know a rita one existed so I yeah, it's a GameStop it exclusive, and that Lord Zed is uh, has some changes from the first series uh, wave for the wave one, and it, it's actually a little bit better. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's it's a really cool uh, two pack. I, I I feel like I don't know. I if I was gonna do it, I'd want Lord Zed, but I don't feel like Rita ever really like was like face to face with the Rangers, was she? With the Rangers, it, it's just Rita yeah. though. In the first season, it was just it was just Rita. Yeah, I know, but she was always like up on her like space oh, yeah. station, in like the on the moon. Yeah. So like, she never had any like in face interactions. Where I feel like I remember Zed actually facing the Rangers, like fighting them at one point. 
I mean, you're I mean, not wrong, be, but I mean, this was 30 years, almost 30 years ago. So I could be wrong. Um, but I think that has to do with the, the Sentai footage. Hmm. Because Arita was ben, the witch Bandora in that, and she was the main villain, and all those with her and the different monsters, those were all from the from the old show, and they would use it in the new show, but they didn't have that actress. They changed her later when they got married. They recast her with uh, <laughs> an English-speaking actress. Um, but those first couple, I think that's the first two seasons, was just all uh, Sentai footage before they shot their own. I, I, I st- it does baffle me though. You know so much about the show that you didn't even watch as a kid. And I, I watched the hell yeah. out of that show. Yeah. Like, all the toys did not realize they recast yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah. All, all, all of all of you guys. All I can remember is the monsters and an episode about fire safety. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still I, I really the movie. That was I'm really, really holding out hope that they'll release a yellow ranger on a a small male buck because. In Sentai, the Yellow Ranger was male, so I, of course, have her like ho- crossing her arms. So you, you know, uh, <laughs> doing the best I can there. Oh, God. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fantastic. Um, I now I want an Ivan Ooze, <laughs> like yeah, from the movie. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I guess I, I could just get think a, that I, they will. I mean, I could just get an Apocalypse figure, and it's the same thing, right? They didn't make one, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on from Power Rangers, before we just go on it for hours about. Oh, it. they they'll totally do that. They'll do those movie costumes. They'll do the ninja costumes because <laughs> they, they, they're running out of Mighty Morphin to do, and they need to put one or two of those True. in every wave. Yeah, you're not wrong because that that's what's going to sell that line. Yeah. The Nobody cares about Dino Charge, but me yeah. and like maybe one other guy. <laughs> I don't know. They had to re re release the head for the White Ranger dude because they yeah. put the deco on it. So yeah. that, that was had to be more than two people. It was uh, me and that one guy, was, and then <laughs> third email, the actor and the actor's mom. <laughs> <laughs> there was four of us. Oh, God. <laughs> that was enough to get the job done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> moving on, though. So next up, we have some G.I. Joe news. Uh, first, we're going to start with the classified reveals. We have Zartan, who will have a mask, a backpack, a gun. And I believe so. I read this online. I don't know how true it is, but apparently his face is going to change color under a black light. Uh, we have a non-exclusive version of the Cobra Trooper. And then from the Cobra Island part of the line, we have Firefly, who has a gun, a stick of dynamite, a drone, a backpack, goggles, and a pad. And I'm assuming that's supposed to be like code for iPad. I don't know. I did, couldn't find it in the pictures. And last, we have the Cobra Viper, who includes goggles, pistol, rifle, backpack, and bandana. Uh, now, I do believe the Cobra Island figures are still going to be exclusive to Target. However, the first two are not. Um, and then also there is a Walmart exclusive line for the three and three quarter inches, which is the retro line. We're getting a Wave 2, which will have Roadblock, Destro, and Scarlet, along with the Jet Fang with Pilot. So I'm just going to throw this to Nate because I know you're the, the G.I. Joe guy for sure on this one. Uh, I mean, you yeah. always joke about how like all these old 80s shows, we have to get Jason on the show because we're not old <laughs> enough to, to really like them. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Because they're not good shows. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm a massive G.I. Joe fan. Have been, I think, I don't think, I think I missed the first year. So we're talking 1983. So I don't think any of you were born yet. Am I right? Nope. Not at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been a massive Joe fan for a long time. Uh, I love this line. I love the, I was all in from the announcement at Toy Fair, even the weird uh, colors that were used, the weapon changes. I, I've just never cared. I don't, people were like, well, they need to make them look just like they did in the 80s. And I was like, no, I, I had those. I still have those. And I had the versions they released after that. And I want something new. I like them to look different and new. So I like all the changes they've done. I like all the different decos um, and the looks. I'm very excited for Zartan. I, I think the re-releasing the Cobra Trooper is a great move, especially just because he's an army builder. Um, I do think that this wave was supposed to have two movie figures in it from the Snake Eyes movie. Mm-hmm. So I think it was supposed to be Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. And then since that got delayed until next year, they pulled those figures from the wave. So that's why it's such a small wave. 
but um the target thing is is still a bummer um just because they've targets just been so difficult for whatever reason lately um and i think it goes back to like all the way back to the ninja turtles at the beginning of the summer when i saw jamar and would talk to wes and (laughs) talk to mike about it um it just seems like target for whatever reason has just been really really difficult to deal with and no other retailer seems to do that so that's what makes this extra frustrating um the part that kind of bums me out is people are blaming hasbro and and maybe i'll you know some of your listeners and watchers will think i'm a hasbro apologist or whatever but i think that i think they entered into a deal with target to guarantee a certain number of characters would get made because that's what exclusives are are helped brought to market by these retailers so when retailers request an exclusive you know they they're helping bring that to market and Mm -hmm. i don't know that hasbro had a lot of faith in a six inch GI Joe line, just because GI Joe has not been successful at retail for, I mean, 10 years, if we want to count the rise of Cobra movie toys as success. Um, so I, I think some fans are really harsh because they're, they're giving them all that flack. I don't, I don't think that they thought this was going to be as successful as it was. And now it's kind of blown up in there and targets face. But I do think that something has to be addressed with target. Their online pre-order system is a joke. Um, and their stock levels, especially on this product has just been um, uh, embarrassing. Cause I, I actually had to break down and get both the uh, Cobra trooper and the Baroness through eBay. I did, did find them in stores later. Because okay, I always when that do. happens when you, when you go and you break down yeah. and pay the extra, and then you find it a week later. <laughs> yeah. So, but I I love this line. I can't wait to do more. Zartan looks incredible. He's one of my favorite characters. Um, I just got all of the new wave in hand except for Red Ninja. Um, so it, it, they're just they're great. I, I I mean, just being a Joe fan, I love it. And these are such such well done figures. Yeah, they're really cool looking, especially like some of the army builder ones. I've seen a lot of people complaining about, like, like you said, the distribution issues where there's like low stock everywhere. Targets are getting like one, maybe two of each, not including just the shit show that the the website is. Um, which I feel like that's that's been almost every like retail situation though, because even Walmart's been a, a pretty much a dumpster fire with pre-orders for like certain figures that are. Yeah, there. you can order them, but then you just don't get them. Yeah, they, and they then you find them in limbo. store. <laughs> yeah, it's like, gotta I'm be like sure. a like a problem from COVID, right? Like they're not weren't able to manufacture for so many months, but they still release the product. I don't know how that works because I don't know how the distribution, how they split it up between the store and then the online. But the weird thing is the online had a pre-order. So I technically, you know, we technically bought our items months before somebody in the store. So mm-hmm. shouldn't we get the first run of them? Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, I, yeah, you I don't know. Fill your you know? orders before right. you fulfill your stores. I agree with that. Um, yeah. Which also, so, like, so who knows? Go over to like with like me and Jamar complain a lot about NECA usually, and mm-hmm. the fact that same thing would happen. They they'd fulfill the store's orders before they fulfill their pre-orders, and it, it's kind of like so you're just spitting in the face of the people who've already given you money for this. Great with Target, it's a little it's a little well, little bit of a gray area because what they do gave them the money, right? Well, well, no, I'm saying it's with the pre-orders for Target, what they do is they take your money, then they give it back to you until the yeah. next month, and then they take it again, and then they give it back sure. to you until finally, like, eight <laughs> years later, it ships. Um, that, I, that's, like, the number one reason why I stopped pre-ordering things from Target, because I think the last thing I pre-ordered was the Marvel Legends Stan Lee figure, and, like, I pre-ordered that thing a year in advance. And once a month, I'd get a notification from my bank saying, hey, Target just charged you for $27. And I'm like, what the fuck's Target charging me $27 for? And I'm like freaking out thinking someone like managed to order something on my card. I'm like, first off, why are you spending only $27? I'm like, I don't have a lot, but still, I'd go all out <laughs> I mean, if I was going to steal someone's, more someone's money. <laughs> um, and then I'm like, oh, that's right. It's from my pre-order that doesn't come out until next June. Um, <laughs> it, which that drives me crazy alone. So them not having the stock for me to order things just kind of makes it easier for me to avoid that problem. Um, so if, I mean, I know Jamar and Wes, you don't have a whole lot of interest in G.I. Joe's, but like based on the pictures, anything here kind of speaking to you, maybe swaying you to consider. I mean, getting into the line, I only or? have the attachment to Disho just because of the show. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So now uh, I I, he still hasn't shipped. I'm so mad. Figure, I'm like, oh, that looks cool. But that's really my only attachment to it. <laughs> is this um, 
is robots Roblox um, Terry Crews? I, I mean, basically, it looks like it to me. <laughs> Terry Crews. I've there. seen I artists know. draw him that way, but unfortunately, he was not portrayed <laughs> by him in either of the movies. Now, Roblox is technically the was the Rock in uh, Retaliation. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's disappointing. Oh, okay. Nothing against the Rock. I like the Rock. No, I like Terry no. Crews would be way better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Terry Crews would have been the right choice. <laughs> Although I am also in the firm mind that Terry Crews could probably play anything, and I'll be okay with it. So he could, he could play a fucking broom, and I'd still go to the movie mm-hmm. and watch it. Yeah. That broom would be Jack. <laughs> <laughs> just see him with like the the bristles on his head, just standing there in the corner. <laughs> I watch it. Wes, are you going to say something before I derailed the G.I. Joe talk? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know much about G.I. Joe's. Sorry, Nate. But no, I would say that Zartan looks awesome. Like, I don't know him, but I would buy that toy. <laughs> yeah, if you get a chance and somebody will let you touch them, I would let you touch them if I'd let you in my house. But, um... <laughs> hey, can I touch your six inch toy? Yeah, absolutely. But Especially my dad's specification. The, the specification my... was that you have to be allowed in his house first. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> that's but, your roadblock yeah. of the situation. I've, I've been in that house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you do get a chance to like actually pick one up though, like the the articulation that they've done on this with the ball joint at the waist um, mm. is really cool. The there's like an extra flex under the neck, and there's all kinds of things on like I was gonna say all kinds of things under the leg, but you know, <laughs> but you can actually you can pull those you can actually pull the leg out to provide more movement and more stance, and then push them right back in. So there's a lot of really cool engineering. Uh, things that I have not seen in any other line that they're doing in this. So even I totally get not having an attachment to this, like a hundred percent, because this is other than Star Wars, this is one of the oldest properties that's still going. Um, so you know, I don't, I don't blame you at all. But if you, if you get a chance to see one, it, they are pretty cool to mess with. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pick yeah. that Zartan. Zartan does look pretty sweet. Like he's the only one that I've seen so far. Then like I kind of want that. Aside from what like Jamar mentioned before, Pimp Daddy Destro. He can't ship soon enough. He looks like he he looks like your vigilante character. To be honest with you, he yeah, kind of does. Yeah. Except for like obviously he probably existed twenty years before I even drew that in my middle school class. Yeah, get ready for that Hasbro copyright, <laughs> right? <laughs> like hey, you uh, copied us. I don't even fucking ever watched your show. Most I had is I had I had the old three and three quarter figures that like my my dad would buy, trying to be like what like GI Joe. I liked it as a kid, and like I don't know. I want Batman and Turtles. It's just so weird with the little rubber band and uh, yeah, that was yeah. I'm, we also had a discussion about that, Jamar. <laughs> both psychopaths who like pulled them apart to see the little rubber band inside. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's what we did. Oh man! So moving on from being psychopaths who tear apart GI Joes. <laughs> so we did get a crap load of Marvel Legends news. Uh, first, we got fully confirmed this time the Hellfire goons. Then the fan vote winner was revealed as the Silk figure, followed by a new wave of the Gamerverse Avengers figures, which includes the I'm not wearing hockey pads, stealth Captain America, (laughs) uh, blue atmosphere Iron Man, classic versions of Falcon, Kang, Thunderstrike, and Jocasta. Uh, Then you buy them all and you can build the game version of Joe Fix It, which that that right there almost makes that line worth it. And Nate's already apparently got his in. Hey, <laughs> save, save that for weekly purchases. <laughs> uh, then we did get some 2021 reveals and teases. So we do have new Spider-Verse wave with the shorts and hoodie version of Miles Morales, along with an unmasked Spider-Gwen who comes with Spider-Ham. The build-a-figure apparently for that wave is Stiltman, who... I don't remember, but apparently you can just buy a bunch of one of the figures with legs and just make him infinitely as tall as you want. Um, that's the one thing I've seen on the internet that everyone's excited about. It's like, I'm going to make him eight feet tall. And it's like, that's a lot of money for some legs. But what you do, you, man. Uh, they are also doing a wave of villains, which I'm excited to see where this goes. But we have Arcade, who's, I believe, a classic X-Men villain. And then Dormammu, which, I mean, I think the last time we got him was, I think he was a Build-A-Figure years ago. Uh, and then we are getting a Walgreens exclusive Dark Silver Surfer, a deluxe comic book version of Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet, and a House of X wave with Moira McTaggart, Professor X, and All White Magneto. And last but not least, they have the retro card figures with the Target exclusive Gambit and Rogue re releases. 
So, Wes, I know, especially the retro cards, you you have a special place in your heart for some Marvel characters. <laughs> so, how how much does this uh, tickle your wallet there? Uh, I can't wait to get the hold of that Gambit though. <laughs> A Gambit is one of my favorite X-Men characters, and I think he looks great. Um, oh, yeah, Rogue, like... I, your Rogue looks good. <laughs> I, I love that orange card. Like, it just looks so mm-hmm. good. I can't wait to see the other characters. Like, I know in, in our Discord, we were talking about, like, all the ones we'd like to see with, like, the Blue Beast, Nightcrawler, and Wolverine, and and yeah, I, want, I, want, I want a giant juggernaut like they did for Kingpin with, with Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, I still have some of the Uncanny X-Men and the X-Men toys over there with that orange card, like the classics, and they look great. They just pop with the other toys. It was a different color. Um, And I'm really excited to see this Gambit released. I mean, the toy looks great. I think a lot of the X-Men stuff looks great, especially that House of X Professor X. Mm -hmm. I think I want to pick that up. I, I do like that one a lot. I like that one. My only complaint about that one is I feel like they got lazy because he he his gloves like are fingerless or at least have like no palms to them. But they were like, mm-hmm. eh, we'll just give them black hands. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I won't even, won't even notice once up there with all the other toys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm the picky collector of the group, apparently. <laughs> now, Nate, obviously you've already got uh, got silk. Um, I did over, over there. So I, I, I have to assume there's a lot here to unpack for you. Yeah, uh, I I am a big fan of Hasbro, uh, as you can see, because I've <laughs> I'm so far I'm three for three on these lines. Right. The first one I didn't even like, um, <laughs> but I do love Marvel Legends. There is so many good ones, and they are finally. And I know this all has to do with the Fox deal and all the finalization, but they're finally tapping into that X Men uh, that they should have done years ago. But oh, that's fine. Yeah. They're just they're saving them for now. But the the Hellfire uh, goon is incredible. I have two of them on order uh, just because I was in a frantic ordering on my Pulse pre-order that day that I didn't <laughs> order more. I probably I, I try to tap out around three for army builders because um, I think any more than that, it just starts getting ridiculous. Uh, but I've been waiting for that one for a really long time and can't wait to put it with the Hellfire Club. I was going to ask if you managed to get that one in your order. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, and then the uh, the Into the Spider-Verse figures, those look so good. Because I have the the Target exclusive two-pack that they mm-hmm. really s- quickly slapped together. Uh, that's kind of a, just really terrible. Um, so these ones look really great. It's really awesome to see them branching out into the other movie territories that aren't part of the MCU. Yeah. and Because that movie is just fantastic anyway. Um, plus, I get my first John Mulaney action figure with Spider Ham, so I'm very right? excited. Like that, that that sells me on it right there. Yeah, I, I almost ordered the the Moffix version of Spider Gwen just to get the yep. the John Mulaney Spider Ham. But I'm like, oh, I could spend twenty dollars instead of eighty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the the Stilt Man is very cool. the The thing I like the best about that though is it's a it's a almost an army builder build a figure piece but so is the figure because it's it's a it's a red ninja or a hand yeah ninja. it's the hand ninja yeah and you can use those for so many different things you can literally use those for gi joe you can use those for power rangers you can use them for marvel legends so i'm i just said i'm, I'm gonna kind of tap yeah. out at three but i could get three for all the different lines that i collect that they would fit right in with yeah so, it's a brilliant move like if, yeah if it really is that that feature where you could just keep adding onto the legs why not put it with something that's already army builder? So that way f- fans aren't like, Oh man, I have to have like 37 miles Morales to, to make my tall stilt man. Yep. Or, you know, if you would buy a bunch of, you know, hand ninjas and then you get the build a figure head. So you have seven heads mm-hmm. that never made sense, but yeah, these look great. I, I'm just so excited with what, every time I think they're kind of, in a corner with, well, they don't really have that many more characters to make. They kind of pull out all oh, these yeah. different ones and getting to see the villains line with arcade, uh, classic and modern heads. I thought that was awesome as well. Yeah. I'm excited to hear more about who's going to be in the, in the villain mm-hmm. wave because I mean, if they've already come out with, I feel like arcade, that's a, that's a reach. That's for like someone who's like that's a, a deep, deep cut. Guy. Yeah. That's a real deep cut, but at least Dormammu, like that's, that's Dr. Strange. He's, he gr- blew up as soon as that Marvel movie came out. So like, that's a perfect villain to be in that wave. Yeah. I'm hoping because that's a classic Dormammu. I'm hoping that means we're getting a classic Dr. Strange. Cause that's one of the holes in the collection is there is no classic seventies style Dr. Strange in the oh, line. Yeah. I, I never realized that that the last time they did that was back when it was still with Toy Biz. Yep. Wow. 
which that's still a pretty decent figure, but I don't have any of the Toy Biz ones anymore. The articulated fingers are always what threw me on those. So I see. I really I used to really like that back mm-hmm. in the day. I was like, oh, yeah, man, I could just make I can make them give you the finger. I can hold, mm-hmm. hold things however I want. Like, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. But now I'm just like, eh, I don't even want I don't even want them to have the hand clamp. I just want into yeah. interchangeable hands like it just it, gets, it just doesn't look right. It's a bad um, aesthetic now. Yeah, and, and it, it just makes it also because those figures back at Toy Biz were also a little clanky, like the like with their proportions, so they don't fit mm-hmm. with the Hasbro figures very well either. Mm-mm. No, and neither do the early Hasbro figures that oh, they yeah, did before so 2014. Yeah, they're bad. I remember when Toy Biz lost the line to Hasbro, and that first couple waves came out. I'm like, oh, this is garbage. Why? Yep. What have they done to my Marvel Legends? <laughs> Um, but I mean, so Jamar now, uh, you think you're the only one who hasn't really chimed in yeah, a whole lot. I mean, they've all said it, you know, very, um, it, it, very well as far as like what figures to get in this, these waves. I'm going to probably do, um, the house of X just cause I really, really like the beginning of mm-hmm. that, that comic run. And then, um, of course we talked about this gambit and rogue. Those are like almost necessities for me, which when we were talking about it in a discord, again, throw my wife under the bus. I mentioned this and she's like, since when do you like X-Men? I was like, since when did I like X-Men? What are you talking about? I didn't have to proceed to show her like, yeah, exactly. A hundred percent. That's what it was. Put it up on YouTube. I'm like, how this is like perfection. What, what do you mean? This is perfect. Why don't you just show her your Disney plus like watch history and show her that's all you've watched is just the X-Men cartoon. <sighs> He doesn't have Cancel it. Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> but then also, it's kind of cool to see like the Ends of Spider Verse uh, figures because I may never get my Moffix, um Miles Morales. So we'll see what you'll, you'll, you'll get it. It's just, Moffix <laughs> just likes the they push the goal line back. back. They're like, Every month. we're not quite done yet. <laughs> Give it a little more time. So, Give us three more months and we'll be there. These are, you said 2021. So. Yeah, maybe so I'll just get these instead. <laughs> I mean, at that time, she'll completely forget that you told her that you wanted them, and then you'll be able to get away with it. I'm, I'm still waiting for the day that I get the text like, Jamar can't be on your show anymore because he keeps buying more toys. <laughs> we start off just turtles, and now well, he's got Power Rangers said, and X Men and, and more PlayStation. <laughs> well, I have to, I have to hope she doesn't watch the show. <laughs> Otherwise, they she'll know I'm to blame. <laughs> right, <laughs> but no, I mean. The, the, you guys basically said it, like amazing like everything in this line is really great but i just got to stick to like my my touchstones you know i now yeah. that does bring me to an issue the point that i've seen people point out they're very unhappy because rogues a repack from a very rare figure from a few several waves back uh of an x-men line with the juggernaut build a figure and everyone's super upset because they took and gave her a different head that like her hair is a little bigger and her face is a little little more chiseled i guess would be the best way to describe it mm-hmm. and people are not happy <laughs> that they finally get a chance to get this rogue figure and it, it they don't like the way she looks uh, people can suck it yeah <laughs> that <I'm> figure cool. <laughs> that figure sat on pegs for years and oh, no I one know. wanted it and then oh, one day everybody was like hey man you got a rogue and it shot up to 80 dollars so I don't feel bad for you. I actually think the new head's better anyway. I think the hair is way more cartoon or yeah. that, you know, Jim Lee style, that giant yeah. 1992 that hair. hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just yeah. going to high school then. So, yeah, every girl had that hair. <laughs> so that has a special place in my heart, I guess, for just that alone. But I, I think it's great that they are re-releasing it, even if it's different. Because mm-hmm. people still get a chance to get it, and it's not the modern version, which I think is a good figure. But some people just aren't into the modern versions, and that's okay too. Yeah. Um. So I think putting it out there and, and putting it on that that X Men backer card is a great way to do it because there's no mm-hmm. build a figure piece. You're not forced into getting it. So. Yeah, I 100 percent agree, and I mean at least with the because the big problem with like when they re- release something or repack it as like a single figure from two pack is collectors boohoo so like oh you're ruining the value of my figure and it's like fuck you play for toys exactly. um <laughs> uh and i feel like that's the big problem with the star wars line is a lot of those just get repacked with a different packaging which when you take it out of the package you can't tell the difference at all so it's kind of nice to see 
with a different line that they're like, oh, no, this is slightly different. So you may still want it if you have the original. But if you didn't, it's not going to like affect you. So that way people cry a little less. But then they find something else to bitch about. And they're like, her cheekbones are too big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't make and people I'm, happy. I'm excited for them to release the uh, blue suit Cyclops. <laughs> right. Because the last cool one suit. had the uh, the white with like the blue. But mm -hmm. I want I want the blue with the yellow. So you they know, did do that one. It was in the same wave of as Rogue. So I'm sure yeah, but we'll want, come back to that here card. soon too. Yeah. yeah. Repack it. I don't give a shit. I want it. The only thing I will say is if they repack it, I think they, they should give it a new body because he was way too scrawny in the old figure. <laughs> and add some more pouches. All, many All more the pouches. pouches. I have the yep. classic one that's be behind me somewhere, but I, I love it. It's one of my <laughs> favorite toys over there. Uh, so we're going to move on from Marvel to an even bigger <laughs> amount of announcements. Um, so we have all sorts of Star Wars goodies to unpack. Uh, first, we've got a vintage collection E2 Anakin, Battle Droid, Queen Amidala, <laughs> Amidala, <not> Amidala. <laughs> I always make the joke. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> TIE Pilot, uh, along with the Captain Rex and Mandalorian Incinerator Trooper. For the Black Series line, we've got a new Attack of the Clones Phase 1 Clone Trooper. Deluxe Jar Jar Banks, because everyone wants that. Return yeah. of the Jedi Boba Fett with new accessories. The biggest disappointment in Star Wars since Last Jedi, Sith Ray. The oh. Mandalorian Incinerator Trooper. The Mandalorian Armorer who ended up originally supposed to be a con exclusive, but then they decided not. So they're going to have like a deluxe one that comes with a bunch of accessories. And then they're going to have a regular one down the line, apparently. Um, so if you miss out, there's still a chance. And then because you can't just have one six inch line of Star Wars figures and be happy with it, we've got a second line, which is the archives. And it has Commander Cody, Luke and Hoth gear, Hoth Han in his brown, brown coat, which doesn't make sense because I didn't don't remember him wearing the brown coat in Hoth. But anyway, um, and then Thrawn. it's a whole urban legend thing. Is it brown? Is it blue? The original Kenner figure was blue. Pictures make it look like it's blue. They said they went to the actual archives, picked up the coat, and it is brown. Oh, hmm. the more you know. I know um, a lot about Star Wars. I know you do. That's why I, I do I'm have to like it. But as uh, episode, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, and then we're also going to have a set of holiday edition figures. And we have a snow trooper coming to Walmart, a Sith trooper to Best Buy, clone trooper with ugly sweater coming to GameStop, storm trooper to Amazon, and range trooper to Target. Because God forbid you be able to pick up everything at the same place. <laughs> and then finally, the biggest news for Star Wars this past weekend, we have the crowdfunded... Haslab 30 inch long razor crest from the Mandalorian. The that ship was sexy. has a it, it, it was. It has a fully detailed cockpit and cargo hold. You get the Mandalorian figure with a cloth cape this time. And as of right now, I've, I, I believe the last update I saw it has two reach goals that they've hit, consisting of an updated version of the child that actually is on like one of the vintage card um, backings if you want to keep it on card. And he comes with the weird floaty egg cradle thing and then it also has an escape pod which must be something in season two because i don't recall seeing it in season one uh you have until november 9th to pre-order this and it will run you 349.99 so obviously we have to go to nate because nate's the one who already made it clear he's, he's got a lot invested in star wars <laughs> i love star wars i always have <laughs> um it's the first thing i, I knew i think um but I, I don't do the, the vintage collection, really, except for maybe a few pieces here and there um, and a few of the HasLab vehicles. Um, but the Black you Series... You got the sand thing, right? The, I, the, the, the Yeah, the Jabba Sail Barge. Yeah, I mm -hmm. did do that. I, it's, a, it's incredible. I don't regret it in any way, shape, or form. So, <laughs> uh, But with the Black Series figures, there's some... There's some really good stuff there. That new clone, oh, well, it's not a new clone trooper, but the phase one clone trooper is on a whole new body mm -hmm. um, with improved articulation and it looks awesome. Um, all the Mandalorian stuff looks really cool. Um, 
I am unabashedly, unapologetic uh, a Rise of Skywalker fan, so I'll take any figure they give me. So I, I love I Rise do... of Skywalker. I'll say okay. it right now. I was just disappointed okay. that that Sith Ray was literally just her in a yeah. black cloak. Like oh, okay, okay. missed opportunity. At least make her look cool. Like, but at least we're getting a figure of it, and right. I, I think that's really cool because they did kind of stiff us on figures for that. Um, oh yeah, hardcore did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'm really excited. I actually am really excited for Jar Jar. I, <laughs> I, I'm not a prequel fan. I'm not, a, a, I'm not a baby about it. Like I don't stomp my feet and cry about it. I just, I'm like, well, it is what it is. But the Phantom Menace was always just, I think a sentimental favorite. So it's my favorite of the three. So I, I'm going to get a Jar Jar. It, 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 if nothing else, it looks cool. He, he comes with that shield and the bomb thing that they can throw and other stuff i'm into it and then the boba fett is great too because some people are really maybe not aware that the colors uh in his costume or uniform between empire strikes back and return of the jedi are actually quite a bit different and then Mm -hmm. with them putting all these effect and accessory pieces in there i really don't mind the extra cost for the deluxe figure because you're getting like a flame effect you're getting the the rope um harpoon string thing that he does around luke he's got his blaster that gets shredded by luke's lightsaber which i think is awesome um and it's a whole new sculpt so it's not the original boba fett body it's a whole new one um so and you were talking about how they re-release things over and over again i actually really like that it is in a different package but when you do open it yeah you can't tell um and that's great because i'm a loose collector anyway but when they when they yeah when they can, they they do those new photo scan faces. Mm-hmm. Um, so even Thrawn, who's not even based on a real person, will have one of those photo real faces, like the Rebels um, really re-releases they did, which those were huge improvements. And uh, Commander Cody has just been such a hard figure to get for so long. On one hand, I, I'm a little disappointed that he's in the archive line because honestly, he needed a whole new figure, new articulation, and an unhelmeted head, which we're just getting the old figure re-released. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but at least we're getting it back again because he's been a really tough one to get. Um, and then the Luke and the Han and the Hoth gear uh, with all new faces because those desperately needed them because those were those were really far back in the line. They looked pretty mm-hmm. bad. Yeah, it is. It is a nice when they actually like are like, oh, we did this ten years ago, and now we can make it better. Like that. That's even like that's the perfect type of repack is when you improve on what you already did. Um, I just know that like they did that that archive line at first, and it was like, oh, here's the Anakin Skywalker that's super rare that people don't want to spend eighty dollars on eBay anymore for, and it was the exact same figure. But when like especially with that Boba Fett though, that thing is incredible with the amount of accessories. Like even like I don't know if you mentioned it, but his one blaster like looks like it like comes apart and has like almost like a reddish paint on it to make it look like a lightsaber like slashed it in half. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, that one I'm, I think is really, really cool. So I, I I have to assume you did order the Razor Crest, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't resist those. Um, what was funny about it is, because, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. Like, it's fine. I don't really, like I said before, I don't really collect the vintage collected in line. But mm-hmm. those vehicles, those huge vehicles are great display pieces that the barge is like a centerpiece. Um, around this whole job of the hut display that I have. And uh, especially with it being a Mandalorian, I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to get it. And then, you know, my wife doesn't really give me too much crap about the stuff that I buy. And, but I wasn't going to be like, you know, hey, I'm definitely going to get this $350 plastic <laughs> spaceship. But I showed her the uh, Baby Yoda that comes on a card, and she's like, well, you're getting that, aren't you? And she saw the presentation, <laughs> so she knows how much it costs. So 350 for her for that carded Baby Yoda is totally worth it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's how you do it. You get him with the Baby Yoda. Yep. <laughs> is that how Jamar's going to justify it? He's going to show his wife I can Baby help Yoda. you try to work that out, <laughs> plant the seeds. God. I mean, you I had enough to get the, the – just to get the uh... – <laughs> just enough to get the just the, the child itself and just the plush so i don't know if i can that's some strong convincing <laughs> <laughs> well i'll tell you the day that those uh sail barges shipped they doubled in price in in the aftermarket right. now i didn't buy it to sell it and i i won't sell it but that's why i always say with these has labs go in on it if you're interested because you, one you're never going to get it cheaper than it is and then mm-hmm. if you get it 
a year later or so and you decide ah this maybe wasn't the best move you can sell it you can get at least your money back if not more pretty quickly right. I'm just get a second playstation 5 it's only 50 bucks more and sell that for profit and then you can buy that <laughs> right <you> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if the ps5 is going to sell quite as well as uh as something that's exclusive to has labs and like me and Jamar talk about all the time, there's always someone who will forget to pre-order and then regret it and spend thousands of dollars on it down the line. So we talked about what about NECA last week. But yep. yeah, I mean, like, seriously, I mean, you could, you know, set, get it. some profit on a PS5 and then you can pur- purchase that. Problem is, it's a hard time getting either one. <laughs> yeah. Am I right? Well, yeah, the has yeah. labs is only hard financially. Uh, oh, okay. They're taking made orders. orders. It's yeah, it's oh, made okay, to order, okay. so it All won't right. sell out. Oh, well, then you have an easier job than, than getting that. Yeah. Than the PlayStation 5. <laughs> and there's a limit of five. Oh. So, I mean, if you're a real baller. <laughs> That's really, right. yeah, really well, You reasonable. want to go put a down payment on your house? There you go. <laughs> Buy yep. five of them motherfuckers. When they ship, you're going to be like, boom. <laughs> That's it. That I can't yeah. my PlayStation 5 pre-orders. Right. That's the way <laughs> to sell this to Kristen. This is a down payment on our house. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no. just, just look at her and be like, this is the way. This is purely an investment, <laughs> an investment in our future. That is true. Exactly. You have to specify those hour. That's how <laughs> they get you. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, now, I know that me and me and Nate Bridge dominated this. Do either of you two oh. have any anything that's really speaking to you? I mean, I pretty much just go for Black Series when it comes to Star Wars. And it has to be like, you know. From a movie that you know I really loved or whatnot, so pretty much all of them. But <laughs> so, I have so, to, so I, the entire everything I announced for the first half of that segment. <laughs> I, it, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm a crazy person out here, but I thoroughly enjoyed like the most current like trilogy. So like I pretty much have most of the figures from that. They're all in a box, so I don't have them really on display. But I really did want a dark ray, so I'm 100 percent in for that. 100 percent. I would invest in the Dark Ray if I wouldn't have screwed up because I think it already came out, but they did the Emperor from uh, that movie. No, they there? did the Return of the Jedi one. Oh, okay, so it wasn't that one. Okay, so if they nope. make that oh. one, I'd almost consider it just to make my own like fan fiction of like, <laughs> no, he did win out. She joined him. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's but, some of the stuff that they so haven't awesome. done that I want. I want to Rise of Skywalker uh, Emperor. All right. his bony, gross hands. And, <laughs> and then they can make a, a deluxe one where he comes with the weird arm sticking out mm-hmm. of his, his, his ass, just floating there. like it's And a tub of Snokes. Exactly. <laughs> and it has to say that on the box with a tub, a tub of Snokes. Of Snokes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that's it. I mean, Jar Jar is pretty cool. I know it's he's always the joke, but this figure you can't hear <laughs> speak, so... There's that. Oh, don't don't <laughs> lie. If you buy Jar Jar, you're gonna run around your house just going, Misa spent money on Jar Jar. Uh, no, the action figure you can hear. <laughs> it's that one. Um, but yeah, that my only tie of obviously my name's Jamar and it's J A R. So Jar Jar was like one of those things that I kind of made me almost hate Star Wars in a sense because it was everyone's like, oh Jar Jar. And I'm like, I don't like that game. But that is the worst <laughs> bullying story I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't know if it was yeah. necessarily bullying. It's just more like I don't know. If hey, my name Jar-Jar. was Jamar and someone came up to me and was like, hey Jar Jar, after that movie, I I just I'd be like, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those th- those movies were awesome when we were kids. Oh, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy right. it as a kid. <laughs> yeah. But I'm that still was, saying even cool. as a kid, Jar Jar was like, I don't know about this. No, I, um, I thought that was like, that's pretty dope. <laughs> I mean, but it was just annoying to constantly hear so but, the voice yeah. actor didn't like it either obviously <laughs> uh so yeah the bubble fed i think looks great i've always right. been a big Boba Fett fan even though he doesn't have much screen time which is really weird um <laughs> and the mandalorian figures i'm really excited about but did we talk about these holiday figures at all i wanted no, to no, get to that okay. yeah, i want to talk about the holiday figures for <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first off, how does GameStop get the best one out of all these retailers? Because they need they need a lifeline, and this is what they do: is they're just like, give us the best one, and we'll, we'll we'll give you whatever you want. Their lifeline, yeah, they definitely need something because they got those all digital consoles coming out. But I think it's the best looking of the bunch. Next up would I think would be Target, but these things are crazy looking. <laughs> are you picking them up, Nate? I I saw these on the presentation and. 
I don't know if you saw the the panel, but they were talking about how Lucasfilm gave them quite a bit of pushback on these. But like the one lady was like, "These are great, we love them," and they're showing pictures, and my face is just like. And my wife is like, those are terrible. And I'm like, I know. So bad. And I was going to pre-order. And I pre-ordered all of them but the Target one because Target's terrible. <laughs> I have to have them. They're so ugly. They're awful. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. But I have to have them. And uh, you I'm guys not... all went through and I'm like, not one person's mentioned these fucking atrocities. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And they all come with little cute little buddies, like more porgs or a little yeah, a Christmas that, Babu yeah. Frick. Or I was like, this is, yeah. The, the little things are the one thing that almost got me. I'm like, yep. oh, the little Babu Frick and the porgs and the hats and the scarves. I'm like, I almost want that. But I'm like, no. <laughs> no. They're going to be Christmas decorations this year. I, I'm also going to That's say, well, I'm pretty sure at least three mm. of us are thinking right now, when you're like, my face makes this, your, your screen's frozen. So oh. <laughs> you've got this expression of just like, <laughs> so I just I look I'm I looking at the other two and I'm just like I wonder if anyone's gonna say anything when he does that. <laughs> nope, not one of us did. <laughs> That's okay because we respect you. Yeah, Thank you. I, I I just did. I was like, there's no need to tell him his screen's frozen because we're gonna spend more time trying to figure out how to fix it and it won't get fixed. So I'm just yeah, like, go with no. it. But well, you were... just that one moment made it. I'm like, I have to say something now. <laughs> I just assumed because earlier you said the quality is like you know a U or VHS or maybe you said something older than that. that UHS. That, I did. That's as it. far as yeah. That's as far as my knowledge. Goes. <laughs> but then I thought, well, it froze, so now it's just kind of like a Polaroid. So yeah, I I okay. just figured he got tired of of us seeing him, so we print out a picture of him and put it in front oh. of him. <laughs> he's like maybe your quality is so low he they won't notice my mouth's not actually moved <laughs> that's funny i thought it was just on my side that it was frozen i would have said something yeah i assumed that that everyone just assumed it was on their side so i was just like yeah. I, I, it's not yep. worth trying to fight with and try to fix it at this point we're... i also can't see wes either oh so. i get wes is good so we're good okay. that way, at least on my end so <laughs> i figured um, you'd have that he probably just blocked you after you called him out and was like oh yeah he got me the white ranger <laughs> um, <laughs> so moving on from terrible christmas decorations that are going to be at nate's house this season um <laughs> well, i'm not going to go hard into the transformers line just because i i'm not a huge transformers fan but i can't not mention the fact that they're bringing back the beast wars figures <laughs> we're getting optimus primal uh black arachnia cheetor rat trap cyclonus uh, Palonotrex, Warpath, Megatron, and Vertebrake. And I I may have to actually buy a Transformer action figure. Like, at the very least, I have to get Megatron. Yep. Like giant giant purple dinosaur that transfers the robot. I'm sold. That he talks to. He oh, talks? talks? To the T-Rex. You, don't, you don't remember? Did you watch the show? Oh, oh you're talking about in the show. I thought you meant In the oh, show. Hungry. Yeah, Whoa, not okay. in the new one, but in the actual Beast Wars show. Yeah. He would sometimes talk to his T-Rex head yeah. when he had it on his arm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like, oh man, the Venom movie stole that from uh, Beast Wars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that that Megatron's great. Also, the uh, Paleo Trex, like I want that one. Yeah, what? that's the one that's just like the the bones, kids. right? Yeah, not even for my kids. Like I want that one. Just right. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. only grabs to this line that I had as a child was Cheetor. I don't even know why. So I mean, it was like yeah. the main. I mean, he was he was one. the cool guy. Like he. Oh, was, like, okay. Let's be honest, like he was the one that we were like, oh, yeah, that's the cool guy. We don't want the leader or like this or that. We want that guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I just must have picked it up at the store and said, I want this. And that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. I think the only yeah. one I didn't have until they did the like, like third or second season, whatever it was, when they like reverted into like robotic versions of them was I'd never had Rat Trap just because I was scarred as a child from my, my <laughs> dad chasing me around with the felt or like furry version of splinter um from the old figures of from playmates so i was like nope no rats that's a no-go on for me i believe that scarred you what <laughs> yeah so like do you, yeah. so playmates i, I followed had, it i did follow it, it. it. it so so playmates <laughs> had the the splinter figure but he had like fur he was felt he yeah, like basically he was like a more the movie one the yeah movie one. well i was when you have to remember the movie came out the year before i was born so when I was collecting these figures, I was like maybe three or four. So my dad Ew, so chased young. me around <laughs> with that fake rat. So I was terrified. And then I refused to get rat trapped. Just I'm like, no, no, 
not after Splinter. Um, until like they did the robotic versions and he had like the wheels for his back legs and stuff. I'm like, okay, yeah, that was cool. cool. Uh, okay. And I really hope that they go back and do those. Cause those I, I will 100% buy a couple of those. Yeah, I'm not a Transformers guy. Shockingly, that's a property I don't. I don't do even even back when I was a kid I, I was like hey, it was fine I watched the cartoon and whatnot but um, I didn't really get into it but I, I really liked Beast Wars when that show came out I was mm. just like at the right time it was like my first year in college so I would catch it at like 6 a.m. and I, I really grew to love those characters so I'm, I'm excited to see these come back out I had a, a nice collection of them at one time the original runs and I got rid of them after so long and then I, I did regret it it's one of the few things I got rid of that I regretted so having them come out in this new modern transformation forming construction style i can't wait i hope they do more because th- i know this is technically based on that new um trilogy they're doing and this is yeah. kingdom so i don't know which characters they you know are going to include but i just hope they still do Dinobot because he was my favorite character from the original show in the original mm-hmm. line so i'd be really happy to see that but yeah i'm i'm excited to see these yeah, they definitely look like they're an improvement on the old ones. Because I, I noticed, at least with Cheetor, like, I remember that figure, his front legs literally just folded down for his robot yeah. form. But this one looks like they're actually, like, articulated a little bit instead of just being, like, a solid piece, which is kind of cool. Yeah, they look great. Um, but if we don't have anything else to put towards Transformers, let's move on to our last piece of news that I stole uh... from Hasbro PulseCon. And this one, I heard, wow, was that a thud over on Wes's screen? Um... <laughs> So, <laughs> so we have the Ghostbusters Plasma series, Ecto One, and the retro real Ghostbusters Ghost Popper. Now, I'm just gonna say it now. I am legit pissed that the Plasma series Ecto One is not to scale with the six inch figures. It's a weird move, especially yeah. to call it Plasma series. Exactly, to be in the same line and not make them to scale. It's very misleading. I guess the only like I would have been okay if it didn't like open or you couldn't fit the figures inside, but it was still to scale because mm-hmm. you would you would most likely display them standing outside the car anyway, so that really wouldn't be that big of a deal. But to have it that small, ugh. jokes on you. I have a Mezco Deadpool that I put a Ghostbusters suit on, and he would have been driving that motherfucker around. <laughs> oh well, then never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, so Wes, I mean, you're the guy here. Let's, yeah, let's hear yeah, it. Yeah. Hey, so, this is, uh, I know, you're, I know so, that you have to wait for the blood to rush back to the rest of your body. To, <laughs> uh, gross. <for> <laughs> um, so, I, I was really excited for PulseCon. They said they're going to have a Ghostbusters, you know, section or three different sections of it. You know, classic, real Ghostbusters, and then Afterlife. Um, I told my youngest son Noah. He's a huge Ghostbusters fan. He actually has a Ghostbusters room with posters. You know, proton packs, the Ecto One license plate, all over his room. He's a huge, huge fan. So excited for the new movie. And I told him, "Hey, this is coming up. I'm really excited. They're going to announce something new for Real Ghostbusters from the classic line." And he's really excited because he loves the cartoon too. And we sat down. It was probably one of the worst presentations I've ever seen. It was so cringy. Like I was uncomfortable watching it. Like it was really bad. But then they announced. You know, they got into the Ghostbusters and they were announcing what was coming out. And I'm like, oh, here we go, buddy. It's going to be, you know, an Ecto-1. It's going to be the firehouse, you know, re-release of the Kenner toy. It's a fucking ghost popper. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy probably buy two of them. But come on, you could have given me literally anything else. And then we get to the Plasma series and it's the Ecto-1. And Noah's freaking out. He's like, I want that. I want that. I want that. I'm like, dude, I want that too. I'm going to have to buy two of them. That's what we do. And I'll make sure they, to send you my PayPal address uh, when they come out. <laughs> they say it's <laughs> launching at 5 p.m. I'm on target at 5 p.m. Refreshing, 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 refreshing. I go to a Ghostbuster News website, ghostbusternews.com, and I'm clicking the link and it's not there yet. It finally pops up and it's instantly sold out. <laughs> and I'm so fucking pissed off about it. It's every goddamn toy I want this year is sold out in less than a minute. And it, it's, it's frustrating. And I'm sort of over it. It's it's super frustrating, and it's it's been a huge problem. And I, yeah, we've had some issues with Walmart initially that started with the NECA stuff. I know for you guys, um, but it's largely been Target 
And I think it was even more apparent this weekend because, or at least even that the last weekend and the whole week, because you also had on Monday, the Mando Monday. I don't know if you guys had talked about at any point the uh, the Beskar collection or credit collection or whatever it oh, was. Oh, yeah, we talked about that last episode. Last yeah, episode. so those were all at different retailers. No mm-hmm. problem pre-ordering any of those except Target. It sold out within two seconds. Uh, the, the Mandalorian on Amazon sell it pretty quick? It, it did go fast, but it, it was like 10 minutes uh, okay. or so where Target was so fast. You know, the G.I. Joe Cobra Island, again, this time around, went so fast. The holiday figures, no, no problems with any other retailers but Target. Ghostbusters. It, so it's it's a target issue, and it it really is frustrating because you know you, I I can see the frustration in, in Wes's face, partly because his picture is so clear on my screen, <laughs> and I'm just a, a wash of of what fuss. But uh, you're printed out like, picture. Let's get it right. <laughs> right, right. It's moving now. It's moving. Uh, on my screen, it's not. It moved for a second, just enough for him to smile, oh. and then it froze. Yeah. I see him. I see him. <laughs> so I just I totally get where you're coming from and especially like when you're such a huge fan of one property and you have that one item that you want and you can't you 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 didn't even have a chance there was you did nothing wrong but yet you still didn't get it and that's that's not right make me cry over here right, <laughs> you're like, I mean, you're right, right can, can right I get an amen man. Hit me right in the feels. This is ah, this is what fuck. I do. I, this was the, the night that all of these pre-orders were going on. I was you know I was texting with the, the guys from from figuratively speaking, and also a couple other friends of mine. And my wife was like, "What are you doing so much on your phone?" You know. And I was like, and and I was so earnest and sincere. I was like, "I'm taking care of business." <laughs> and she laughed in my face so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't mad about it. I was like, oh my God, I just said, I'm taking care of business. <laughs> taking care of business. Yikes. Oh, oh man, that's, that's, yeah. that's maybe the best, best story I've heard on yeah. the show. <laughs> awesome. Taking care so, of business. So, so I've, I've never actually bought anything on Target.com. Yeah. Did they not have some kind of captcha or. No. You know, oh, not at all. Like the nope. crossbox at the end. Oh no! Mm-hmm. We, we, we no, are in fact, about this. go ahead. Nate. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll <laughs> go. Uh, uh, so, any one of you so, so me and Jamar talked about this <laughs> quite a bit during uh, Turtle Watch 2020, where we were just like every every week was Target.com selling out in seconds because they have zero like little capture where you have to like oh choose the school bus and nothing. There, there was no way to legit oh. limit it because it wouldn't stop you from ordering the same one in different orders. It just wouldn't let you order more than that quantity in the same order. So if you have bots, you can just have them set to just keep ordering over and over and over and over again. And it'll site so no one else can get through and you're pretty much just shit out luck. And that guy even talked about it uh, with Randy and he yeah. pretty much said that there's nothing they can do because Target won't do anything about it because they NECA and these companies can go through and they can cancel the multiple orders. But what happens is that brings their rating as a company down with that retailer. And if it gets to the retailer, won't do business with them anymore. So they, they pretty much like a damned if you do, damned if you don't, which is why NECA moved to trying to do the, the pre-order to make the pre-order system on a few of their stuff that came out this summer. It's not like I haven't tried. I've tried to buy multiple things on Target. I've just never had the opportunity to. And it right. pisses me off when I go on Twitter and I see people posting all their orders and they're like, oh, I use this bot. I'm like, you motherfucker, dude. <laughs> we were all yeah. there. I should have con- continued with the the bot, uh, you know, escapades. But once I got my, my turn, so I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. I yeah, know got his stuff. He's like, I don't need bots for you. <laughs> I just kind of <laughs> forgot all about it. I, the guy's still in Discord. I, I didn't, <laughs> but go ahead. We were this close going to the dark side. I was almost there, man. I was on board. Look, like, all right, I don't. Who do I, I pay, pal? Let's do you. this. <laughs> I don't blame you. It, it's getting so bad, and uh, yeah. I mean, I, I will say there is a at least a little bit of a light for in, at the end of the tunnel. In some cases, like I lucked out with my target because I became like BFFs with the guy in electronics. Uh, when it came to the turtles and literally every Wednesday I'd go in and it'd be right. He like even told me, he's like, yeah, they show up around noon. So I'd go in, he'd be like, all right, what you looking for this week? And I'd show him a picture. He'd go back. He's like, how many you need? And I'd grab one for me, one for Jamar, occasionally one for Wes and move on to 
to the wait till the next one comes out. That's what'd awesome. You, so, what'd you do for that? Huh? Uh, yeah. so, some things that were off camera. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I wouldn't tell them because you did it for them. And <laughs> don't let them yeah. give you shit for that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what you did is your business, sir. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> only you know, only you can say how badly you want a toy. I, this is true. Yeah. And, and sometimes you just want it that bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, does anyone have any last thoughts? regarding the terrible ghostbuster reveals before we well so my on. question is is this that's straight like you're not you don't have another opportunity to get that is that going to be in store at all or i i believe they're supposed to be well. going to stores oh, okay. but it's going to be a shit show like everything else at target where they'll get like one or yep, two of them one. and if you're not there yeah. when they unpack them you might as well yeah. just go like did, lick did someone's asshole you, on ebay did any of you guys watch the show Nate? did you watch that ghostbusters panel I didn't watch the Ghostbusters one. No, that was oh, later in the day, God. and it was actually on my birthday. And so oh. the the day before was my day, big day, because that was Star Wars and um, Marvel Legends. Yeah. And then I had GI Joe first thing Saturday, and I was kind of out. It it seriously was one of the most awkward things I think I've ever watched because the two hosts they couldn't. I don't know if they were trying to act or whatnot, but they came off so stiff. And you can tell they were reading. And then they had this weird thing where they're like, "Oh no, a ghost is here!" And they got out, you know the proton gun and they're shooting the ghosts and they're like tweet you got to tweet down below of like hasbro ghostbusters and nobody was tweeting so it wasn't filling up at all and at one point <laughs> we sat there for like seven minutes as they were just fake shooting this ghost and it's <laughs> i was seriously so uncomfortable from it. did they think that they were like making this for five-year-olds like I, well, oh no, I don't get wrong we're all man children back. but like <laughs> i don't think any of us are gonna be like yeah let me to help you get the ghost get the ghost like this is I'm, the door of the fucking explorer <laughs> I'm going to find a clip and I'm going to put it in the Discord. Join the Discord oh if you're not God. already in it. Just because it's so bad. <laughs> oh, man. I, I cannot I, wait to see that. I'm curious, Wes, since you are the kind of the Ghostbuster guy. Um, where, like, what did you want to see? I, I, you kind of mentioned with the uh, Kenner remakes, but did you want to see anything in particular with the Plasma series? Obviously, they probably couldn't show Afterlife stuff yet. But yeah, I kind of wish we would have got a little bit of an afterlife reveal. Like they they already revealed a lot of that back in the you know back in the day when they had to delay everything. But I just kind of I want to see a little bit more of that stuff and see what they're doing with that. But there's nothing in particular that I was looking for to be honest with you. I was really looking forward to more Kenner, yeah, uh, real real Ghostbuster line stuff, you know, because I. That's a great series. They had 10 waves. They were all fantastic. I want to see them re-release, you know, the Fright ones. And I think that'd be a great re-release. I want to get a new Ecto-1 because you go to buy them now and they're all yellow or they're, you know, 100 bucks or 60 bucks. And I'm like, I, I could buy that, but I got to buy two of them. And I don't want to buy two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's different when you have to spend $200 that way. You don't have to share. <laughs> I mean, it's super awesome. He's into Ghostbusters and he wants to watch the cartoon and the movies, but, you know, it hurts the wallet. So, so Jamar's learning a lesson here. Make sure that his, his kid does has zero interests of his so he doesn't have to share <laughs> oh, no. two of everything. Make sure he has interests of yours because it's it, nothing will bring you more joy in the world. It's amazing watching him get excited about stuff that I love. <laughs> Oh, right. I, I take that advice. I don't know. Yeah. Jamar was is like, oh, that's, that's great. great. That's Jamar's great. like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Jamar's like, my turtles. <laughs> Trust me, that's a that's a that's a tough that's a tough one to do. <laughs> and like, there's there's some Ghostbuster toys that I don't have duplicates of that are upstairs right now, and I'm like, I know he's just losing all the pieces. Like he's got that Playmobil Ecto one. And like the mirrors are gone. I'm like, damn, it's not gonna. I don't know where any of that stuff is. So like, if I have it, it's gonna be like incomplete now. Once he grows out of it. But see here, so here's the key though. If it's not like the 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 like ones like where it's like the built where you have to build the Ecto one. Like if it's actual just like a figure of accessories, why not before you give it to him, take the accessories, put them in a ziploc baggie, and hide them? And then he has no idea that it's supposed to shoot something or do something. And he'll still love it and be like, this is the greatest thing ever, and play with it the hell out of it. But then you don't lose any of your stuff. The one's gonna look really weird if it has no attachments on it except just the top. 
And he'll have to discuss that with his therapist in years later. <laughs> yeah, <my laughs> dad. Hey, he wouldn't give me hey, any of the accessories. I there. got chased around with a with a fucking like realistic splinter right. as a kid. So yeah, case in point. Yeah, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like missing some accessories is not a big deal. Yeah, you didn't see a therapist and you're fucked up, dude. So <laughs> case in point. But no, he'd grow up and be like, Why cars don't have mirrors? Like, no, they do. Like, no, look at this ghost must be toy, no mirrors. <laughs> Fails as a driving test. They're like, why aren't you checking your mirrors? Cars don't fucking have mirrors. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. So on that note, we're gonna <laughs> wrap up the news, and we're gonna move on to Jamar's favorite segment of the show, uh, show and tell, where we do some oh. weekly purchases. So I honestly, I think out of the three of us, I have the least. So I'm just gonna go to, real shocking. quick to get out of the way. Uh, I know, right? But everything's just stuck in like FedEx and UPS land right now. Like I'm waiting on everything to actually show up. Um, so the most exciting thing I got all week, I, I randomly found this at Walmart after weeks of looking for it. And I pretty much had given up hope. I just happened to be there picking up some some shipping supplies. And I, I walked in the aisle and I just happened to see it hiding behind the mystery machine. But I've got the Rick and Morty Hot Wheels spaceship. Oh, and nice. I am so jealous. Awesome. Yeah. I was jealous when he posted it in the Discord. Yeah, that's yeah. great. If they would have had more than one, I was going to grab one for, for Wes or anyone who needed it, but it was literally just one hiding behind the Mystery Machine and RC from Toy Story. And I'm just like, well, I'm definitely grabbing this. And then I was like, why are Hot Wheels $5? <laughs> oh, so it, it's Wait. one of those? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I was going to ask what price it. point it was at. Yeah, I was shocked because I'm like, wait, I thought, I thought the hot, the hot Wheels were like a dollar or two. And I'm like, damn. Still getting it though, but damn. <laughs> um, Price and then my other going up, man. Yeah, man. Did, uh, did you uh, beep it on one of those machines? Oh no! Like the price tag was right there. Oh, I was okay, so okay. distracted at first. I'm like, finally, and then I looked up. I'm like, no. I try not um, to use those machines because they're so loud they make my ears bleed. <laughs> they oh. got really loud. They're like, I mean, jokes on you. I can't find a Walmart that still has them anywhere. Really? Like most of them, they get they just they are the walks. so loud though. <laughs> they so hurt. Loud. I thought I remember I do it. I step back. I'm like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> I usually go to like the fabric counter to make that lady scan it. <laughs> <laughs> just a grown ass man walking up to the fabric lady, be like, can can you tell me what this toy is? Yeah, and she's you just like, work, she looks and there's like in. three in every direction of the price <laughs> things, and she's just like, they're too really loud. Sir? They're too, they're loud. too <laughs> loud. Yeah, you gotta work it's it in. You gotta be like. That's a nice fabric. Can you scan this toy? <laughs> can I get a yard of that? And can you tell me what this is? Can you tell me what this is first before you get the yard? Yeah. yeah it hurts so your you ears. And then everybody looks at you and then they know what you're fucking scanning. Like, oh, yep. Yeah. I'm scanning toilet paper. What's up? I mean, it could be worse things you're scanning. I know, but I didn't want to say something worse. No. <laughs> uh, my only other purchase is something I pre ordered a few months ago. Let me grab it real quick. Off the shelf. Maybe if I knock everything over first. So I've been working on a like Mezco soft goods version of Bane for about a year now. And I pre-ordered this head. And it finally came in. And it's like just the right size and has some pretty pretty nice detail in it. And that was probably one of the most exciting things that's happened in a few weeks as far as like things that came in the mail. Okay. <laughs> the, 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 the life you live. Well, Mike, you got to do more, man. <laughs> 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 you know? Well, just like the past few weeks, I've had a lot of packages come in because everything's like pre-orders waiting for him to show up. And yeah. then this like randomly came in the mail with this itty bitty little box. I'm like, what the hell is this? And why is it from China? And I'm like, oh, it's my Bane head. And I like ran through some poster tech in there and, popped it on there so <laughs> i've got that uh who wants awesome. to go next all right go oh sure um so i have just a couple things not a lot i have the white ranger i got that got that in, you know cool it'll be real cool standing next to my green ranger in 2021 <laughs> um <laughs> i also was just going to like walgreens because you know the the lighting collection i'm just maybe i'll just run into like a yellow ranger i don't know um, but while I was there, there was something that I could not pass up on. And my wife didn't ask me since when did I like this? Because I've always talked about the Avatar. So I got Aang. Aang. Yeah, it it's like Diamond awesome. Selects, like Aang figure. It's not the greatest figure, but it's pretty dope. And I feel like I have to buy it and I might have to look for more just to let people or let them know that there is a need for this. I, I think they're on like the third wave right now. But if they go to Legends of Korra, I'll be so happy because then, you know. 
yeah okay and then <laughs> other than that i was at target and i just went back by the toys and i saw the NECA from the animated batman or batman <laughs> animated back to the future so i picked up marty and doc but i didn't open these just because they look so cool in the packaging and i'm normally not that person but i think with these ones on i might be so i, don't I plan on picking those up whenever i go to the store i just have to go to, physically go to the store to look yeah, they, I mean, there was like a ton of them, so I don't think it's like a a hard get or anything like that. But I thought they look really cool. I love like NECA's like animated stuff, like the the outline, the tune terror like things. Yeah, like it that. just looks cool. So I got those. But that's really all I have. It's just a few things. That's it. So Nate, uh, Nate do you want to go? I, so I, I, will, I will. I will warn people. There's a 50/50 shot. You'll be able to see what he's talking about just because right. of my screen. It's still just a prayed out picture of him. Okay. Uh, but we'll, okay. Still, we'll still go with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just, des- I'll just describe descriptive. them. Yeah. It's a radio show my, now. My tin. Well, I mean, that's typically what, what I do. So, exactly. um, but I I didn't know how much to bring to my desk area here because I was like, <laughs> I don't want to scare everybody away. This week <laughs> was expensive. Like I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Uh, more importantly, I got the first of my Hasbro con exclusives already. I did get the, the Power Rangers Lord Dracon that I, I wasn't going to get. It has no bearing on Sentai whatsoever, but I was like, I can get this. So I did. Why not? <laughs> and I already have it. And then I forgot to mention it earlier. You, Mike, you mentioned the, uh, the new Zeo Megazord. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I'll put a pre-order for that. Cause I want a nice looking Megazord. It, it arrived today. Wow. I don't I, I didn't put it together because it comes in. It looks I sh- it's downstairs, so I can't go grab it. But it comes in like it looks like the old Bandai style box. It has the mm-hmm. Hasbro logo, but it has that same Zio look from back in the day because I used to work. It's, uh, it's how old I am. I used to work at Toys R Us when Zio was a thing. So <laughs> I remember those boxes. So but um, but I did grab a couple things to show. Um, hopefully you guys can see it. But the first thing I want to show is this amazing oh. Super 7 Mumra. Uh, um which if anybody has listened to my show um i don't like the thundercats <laughs> but i couldn't pass these up these were these were super seven made to order this was um re- kind of redoing the mattel ones but this is an extension of the to me in my mind this is an extension of masters universe classics it's still that same aesthetic it's that same look um and these figures are just so well done and mumra was i did always like mumra as a kid and i love this old version and it has a wire cloth cape i love wire cloth capes so much yeah. that cuz you can just mold them and, and and bend them and have them doing all kinds of cool you know like he's about to turn into the to the ever living version so i have the whole wave um they're actually all really really great and it made me actually go and give the show another chance which you shouldn't do with 80s properties <laughs> um yeah but I, I found <laughs> some things to appreciate about it i i did but these figures are great and i'm going to keep getting them because i i want to support super seven um so i i'm going to continue with those super um seven. but this was a yes this was a big one for me um i actually got this I, and um I got this at a local uh, shop. Somebody had it, and it was my birthday, so I treated myself. One of the last few uh, Marvel Legends Spider-Mans I did not have, which Man, is the original awesome. Spider-Man uh, 2099. Um, it was expensive, but I got a birthday discount, and I had store credit. So <laughs> technically, he only cost me 20 bucks out of pocket. And even though he's from a number of years ago now, he's still a great figure. Um, has butterfly joints on it, and I just I love every different version of Spider Man. Um, so I, I really really love this. So I'm happy to have them. And then the last thing I wanted to show, um, I got the the X Men um, Domino from Deadpool mm-hmm. Two. More specifically, I guess from Once Upon a Time or Once Upon a Deadpool, because Hasbro doesn't release figures of rated R movie at retail. <laughs> wink wink that's why the logan was on at the con um but i all of these fox x-men figures have just been stellar i mean just incredible really um the likenesses are spot on i have domino i have mystique who i don't even really like as a character but the figure is so well done um but the amazon exclusive wolverine is ugh. I don't even know what to say. It's so good. <laughs> it's a little tiny Hugh Jackman that you can put in your pocket and carry around with you. And I don't know anybody who wouldn't want to do that. I want to. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm just no, imagining to, Nate doing it now. Do. Yeah. <laughs> no, and if you ever see me somewhere and I'm walking, just I have a little Take tiny Hugh pocket. Jackman. Yeah. With me. I feel like that's uh, going to get you in trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Want to see my tiny me. Hugh Jackman? <laughs> Trust me. Like, I'm on. I'm, my wife and I will just hang out in the evenings and we'll, you know, we'll be talking. We'll get into some bizarre conversations. I'm on a list somewhere. And tiny <laughs> Hugh Jackman isn't even going to be. <laughs> They don't even know about that yet. Yeah, that's yeah. new. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> um. So yeah, I got a few things this week uh, delivered. So I don't go to stores that often. I'm only one as you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm, you know what I mean? It just yeah, COVID. So I finished up a uh, Kenner line that I collect. I'm a huge fan of the movies. Um, so I ended up getting two Ghostbuster or not Ghostbuster, my God, two Beetlejuice figures in the mail. So I got you know, nice. this guy where he pops his head up yes. and then the exploding Beetlejuice. So I'm not going to explode them because I don't feel like picking the pieces up, but uh, those came in the mail. Uh, and then I got uh, an original Kenner toy from an old Predator line. This was actually my favorite Predator when I was a kid. It's the Stalker Predator because I'm a huge fan of any glow in a dark figure. So I, I ordered him, and I'm very happy to have him. I used to play with him in the bathtub all the time, naked. As, I mean, as, unless unless you're on Arrested Development, I'd hope that you aren't wearing clothes in the bathtub. And I just <laughs> That'll get you put on a list. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the last thing was, uh, I'm, I'm also a huge Robocop fan. I basically like anything 80s. I'm a, I'm a huge 80s fan. Um, they, you know, like eight of my top 10 favorite films come from the 80s. Um, so I'm a huge Robocop fan and I have a good chunk of Robocop toys, but I never had this Robocop toy. And again, I'm a sucker for glow in the dark. So I picked up the uh, Night Fighter Robocop. And I'm very, cool. very happy to have him because, you know, I, I like when I turn the lights off and all my toys glow in the dark. I don't know why I'm such a huge sucker for glow in the dark. Oh, I am, too. We've talked about that before. Like, I love me some glow in the dark. Science. But I like just like you like Spider-Man variants. I'm the same way. I have a long list of Spider-Man variants that I want to buy. I'm a huge fan of variants in, you know, RoboCop and huge fan of variants in Ghostbusters. That's why I have all the Ghostbuster Kenner figures. I, I just like different outfits on my characters. I like. I feel that you, That's all I got. You're, you're into that that chase figure life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that you have a, a vintage Kenner collection. I think that's I got a, great. A lot of Kenner toys, yeah. My my favorite that I have is I have a complete Bill and Ted uh, Kenner collection that I'm massively proud of because that was a tough one. Yeah, oh, that's bet. amazing. Yeah. I was actually looking into Kenner Bill and Ted toys, and I, holy fuck, are they expensive now? Yep. <laughs> so I, I secured them all about three years ago, and I and I paid a lot for them, but. I'm glad I got them when I did because, yeah, they have then just continued to go up. And I have a Bill and Ted. Well, I'm working on putting together a Bill and Ted corner in my room um, that those will be a part of. So, yeah, I loved I what I always loved about Kenner is I always liked the toy first off, but I really like their packaging, like the artwork on every single Kenner toy lines packaging. I, I love the way they're designed. They just popped on the shelf when I was younger and they still pop for me now. Yeah, all the old toys, like really the packaging, it just it, it was a lot more eye popping than it is now. Most of them are just like, oh, here's like a on the sides it has pictures of things, but for the most part, it's just like this little square that's maybe like got some angles to it, but it's nothing yeah. like crazy except for obviously the retro lines that they're doing where they reproduce yeah. all of those old styles. Actually, what I was going to say is those Spider Man toys that you got me, those retro Marvel Legends Spider Man toys. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Love them. Yeah, they brought, great. You know, they brought back that old packaging. They pop on the shelf. They look better than every single toy in that aisle just because they they look great like the packaging yeah. and good old good old 90s and 80s hey, packaging it's the west again oh hey oh I mean, and nate nate's uh. finally not a printout anymore again so i'm not doing as the, much so the, the last five minutes of the show for it to uh <laughs> all come together <laughs> in normal modern toy fair fashion <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so that's going to wrap up weekly purchases before we wrap everything up. I do want to remind everyone about our giveaway. Once we hit 350 YouTube subscribers, we will be giving away a first place prize of the NECA ultimate metalhead and the merch bundle from the musical mutagen tour, which includes an extra large shirt, tote bag, souvenir ticket, backstage pass, 
and four guitar picks. So all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and then share or retweet the post on either Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag modern toy fair 100. The reason why it says 100 is because that was where the contest originally was until we got the metalhead figure. We bumped it up, but we want to make sure everyone's entry is still valid and just kind of keep it easy for everybody else. So again, Share or retweet the post with the hashtag Martin Toy Fair 100. Make sure if it's on Instagram, you share the post on your page, not on your story, because it will go away and then I have no way to seeing it again. I'm not going to save 500 screenshots, so make sure you do it the right way and make sure you subscribe to the channel. But that is it for this week's Martin Toy Fair news. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Jamar, please tell our fans what you have going on in your lovely life these days since they haven't seen you in a few weeks. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, he has absolutely nothing going on. <laughs> Just looks... speechless. <laughs> he is. It yeah. looks. The application we use to record the show is just being so shady to us tonight it is like it already <laughs> hates my show and makes my life difficult on a regular basis but tonight it was just like oh you want to do a four person show watch what i got for you um so i'll pimp out jamar's stuff so he has a show it's called why are you a gamer he goes through video and he talks to people about why they love video games and what got them into gaming go check that out me and wes have both been on it it's a lot of fun it's a great conversation it's really easy to listen to where you don't have to really be invested and in, go through the entire series. You can kind of just pick up whenever and it's still a good show to listen to. Um, moving on down to the other person who freezes regularly on day, uh, Nate, over at the Figuratively Speaking podcast. Why don't you tell our fans what uh, you guys got going on? Yeah, so Figuratively Speaking has uh, had taken an unplanned hiatus uh since january it was originally planned uh one of the guys had a scheduling issue uh and then the world ended and mm -hmm. so now that we're putting things back together uh we're planning on re uh not relaunching because we've got like almost 100 episodes in the can we don't want to restart anything but we're going to continue on and we'll come back and uh i i really do want to thank you for having me because this this is a, a nice break i don't Oh, Wes is gone, or Jamar is oh, gone. Jamar, yeah, yeah. It's easy to make. They look up. similar. Yeah, um, yeah, they're they're basically like just twin brothers. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so it's fun to get to talk toys again, because my wife and kid don't care. <laughs> it's I mean, like yeah, my yeah. my wife. My wife's like, "Wait, you're giving me another toy?" I'm like, "Yeah, but this one I got it a great deal on it. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for retail. Don't tell her." Yeah, I just started going into the whole thing about it and how I acquired it, and she's just like, she she's finally caught on to me saying I've always wanted this. Yeah, so now, now <laughs> she calls that out every single time. She's like, "What? Did you always want this, Wes? You always wanted this? Damn it! Yeah. For as long she's as you like, knew about it, yeah." yeah. She's <laughs> like, "Oh, so you you this has been out since you were a kid. You really want this? Yeah, just yeah. saw it five yeah. minutes ago on the shelf. But in that time, <laughs> I've always wanted it." It was like love at first sight, but with a toy. It's like, and she does that face. Like, uh, who's that girl on um, Game of Thrones? Khaleesi? Khaleesi? Yeah, um, yeah. Da Daenerys. Dana Daenerys, where she has that face. Like, that's, that's what basically <laughs> the face she does in the middle of Target. That's great. <laughs> Good old memes. Um, so, yeah, make sure to check out Figuratively Speaking. I, I, I'm going to say right now, I'm a fan of the show. I've been listening you. for quite some time. When you guys took your hiatus, I was very sad because that was like, like I think you guys did it like once or twice a month. So I would always look forward to Yeah, it was like, twice a month. It was like, bi-weekly. Yeah, because we, we, we tried to do it as, uh, as an in-person thing, which is fun and unique, but it also has its own set of challenges. Um, so... But yeah, Fig Speak Podcast, I believe, is on Instagram. That's a good place to check us out. I don't run that page because, again, I, I don't do a lot of the work or no work. Um, but Ryan usually posts some cool stuff, and I will have him. He used to give me the long end information, but now I just send it to him and say, hey, post this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, well, I think Jamar's trying to return. I don't know. There's a Am big, I back? Like, there he I mean, is. You guys are all cattywampus now because Jamar like disappeared, oh, so I, I had to move the screens around. So now he's in Nate's spot, and Wes is in. Hey, oh, I'm man. Nate. I'm, How's it I going, mean, guys? Now Wes is all like, <laughs> looks like he's been <laughs> censored. Oh man! All right, 
Um, don't worry, Jamar. I pimped out your stuff for you because you apparently went and had your wife pull the the power cord on you. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I I mean, you thank you. I appreciate you pimping out my stuff. I was just gonna say that it won't be a new episode until November because obviously I just had a baby. I don't know if you mentioned that. Um, so I got to put Why Are You a Gamer to the back burner for a little bit, and then I'll be back. But yeah, I made sure to mention that it's not like a, a episodic thing that they can pick up any time. So there's a huge yeah. backlog to to go through. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, oh, cool. So make sure to check out Why Are You a Gamer and Figuratively Speaking Podcast when they both return. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, go to the link below for tpublic.com where I sell anything from shirts, pillows, masks, phone cases, all sorts of stuff with our logo on it, along with tons of different designs that I've worked up in Photoshop. So check that out. I always appreciate it. If you enjoy our faces, hit the little bell to get notified when videos go up. We have Modern Toy Fair news on Fridays and Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays. If you don't enjoy staring at our beautiful faces and want the audio-only version of the podcast, we have Modern Toy Fair news available on Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and other podcast apps you know and love. So check that out. We will see you next week. Same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching.